So I found a uh, gas riding mower and it had a blown engine in it. This one's in much better condition than it used than the other uh, John Deere was. So I converted it to electric and this will now be my uh, main mower and probably going to get rid of the old one. But here it is. I actually got rid of the box, got rid of the controller. It's now straight power with a contactor that sends power to the motor. And I still have my fuse and my main emergency on off switch. It is key operated, so if I turn power on and then flick the switch, we stand back from it. it turns on. The headlights work, the uh, electric PTO works, and I even have the hours uh, counter on here working. This is all operated by a 48 volt to 12 volt down converter down here with a little uh, bus bar in the front with all of the leads going to their various 12 volt components. I have the main BMS on top here for uh, uh, charging it. Uh, these leads, I've definitely, I've made an anchored a, uh, sorry, let me say this again. I welded a angle iron frame to hold my battery up and angled it in such a way that it clears the hood and there's about an inch or two of clearance between it and the metal hood because the chassis is grounded. We don't want anything touching, especially since the corner up here is a positive lead. I still have my charging port. It's a crow's foot or a, you know, a easy go golf cart crow's foot charger. Uh, this no longer does anything because it's just always on or off. I think having the controller in there actually zaps more power. So not much, but enough for me to be like, eh, why have it? I can actually use it in some other conversion, like a golf cart. I pulled the gas tank out. It used to be under the seat, so now the transaxle has more airflow. And yeah, let me get some of that off of there later. Actually, it looks like we got some grass built up on here. There we go, a little better. Uh, it's dirty. I was just mowing on the other side, so it's got some dry grass on it. Uh, motor. Yeah, there's everything. And this motor, th this battery is held in with the side clamping force of these angle irons. They are uh, bent in slightly to hold it in and held back so that it doesn't move with just a bungee cord. And bungee cord is nice and easy to remove when I need to uh, maintain or perform maintenance on something. Everything else about the mower does work though. So, lid closed. Let's take it for a ride. A little quieter than the other one, not by much. You see the, uh, the number 201. Those are original Al hours on this too. I got this really cheap for $150. All right, engage the PTO. Anybody who's curious, this is a Husqvarna tractor, uh, or it was, now that it's electric, I'm just going to call it a hybrid. And it's in fantastic condition. The motor, the man who sold it to me thinks that the, uh, what is it, the, the blade hit a stone or something and sheared the flywheel key and something else happened and the piston uh, camshaft broke on him. So it blew out the back and cracked the, uh, 
because it cracked the block. So it wasn't possible to repair easily and I didn't feel like paying the money or, you know, I do these electric conversions, why not? So this is my new one and the old one is up there. I gotta figure out something to do with it, but maybe I'll make it a gas one again. I'd really like to find a hood though, but it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.